Hey, so today I'm going to tell you how to export your Construct 3 game and get it ready for Steam using Steam features like Achievements and the Steam Overlay. Let's get started. This guide assumes you already built your Steam page and well of course you have your game ready for launch. So the first thing you need to do is download the Greenwork plugin and the Steam API. Greenwork is an official plugin that basically will give you access to the Steam API in classic Construct 3 fashion, so no programming required. Greenworks has different versions because it is constantly getting updated. The thing is, since the plugin works alongside NW.js and the Steam API, you need to make sure you are using the right version of all three elements so your game can link properly with Steam. In this guide, we will be using the newer version of Greenwork, 0 0.62.0 and the version of the Steam API and NW.js that work best for this are the following. Download the Steam API and save it in a folder, we will use that later. Next, download the Greenwork add-on by opening Construct 3, going to the add-on manager and searching Greenworks. Follow the steps to install the add-on. Restart Construct 3 and you are done. The second step is to put achievements into your game. To do this, you need to choose a moment in your game that you think would make sense for an achievement. Let's say player collects 100 coins, so you need to code something like this. Now your game has an achievement, but wait, Steam doesn't know that yet. So we're going to go into the Steam dashboard, look for the achievements tag, add new achievement, and this is the important part. Make sure the ID of the achievement is exactly the same you use on your game. Repeat this for every achievement you create. Okay, so now that we have achievements in our game, we have the green work add-on installed and we set up achievement on our game dashboard on Steam, it is time to export it. Follow the regular process you do to export with nw.js. Go to Construct3, open export, select nw.js and aha! Remember I told you we need to use the right version of Greenwork Steam API? Well, here's where we choose the right version of nw.js. Choose version 0 0.52.0, select what platform you want your game to run on and you can leave the rest as it is. Hit export, wait a moment for Construct3 to finish the process and boom, you have your game with Steam integration ready. Well, not quite yet. Step 4, adding the Steam files to your support project. So remember, you download the Steam API at the beginning. Hopefully you put it on a secure folder like I told you, where you can easily find it. I recommend you copy and paste your game zip into that folder, so you have everything organized. Here comes the fun part, working on your game files outside Construct3. We will need to do a couple of extra things in order to get our game ready for Steam. First thing you need to do is to unzip your game. Unzip the Steam API. Let's start with an easy one. Create a new text file in the root of your game. And put your game's ID on it. No need to write anything else. Just your game ID, like this, and save it. Oh, and make sure you save it with an NC format, or it might not work. Don't ask me why, but I found it the hard way. Okay, now we are going to add some more files into our game. On your game directory, you will find a file called package.nw. This is actually a compressed file similar to a zip or a WinRAR file. You can actually open this file with a software like WinRAR, 
You can do this by either changing the extension of the file to a zip or by adding the NW exception to WinRAR. For me, it was easier to change the extension. Once you do it, you should be able to open the file and see its content. With the file open, we will now copy and paste a couple of theme files into this package.nw file. Time to use that Steam API we downloaded previously. Go to your Steam API folder and locate these files. Drag the files into the package.nw and that's it. It is important that you copy both the DLL and the lib files. Okay, now what we're going to do is to add another group of files to the package.nw. These files are actually the updated Wingworks file. Go to this site and download the updated file. Be careful you download the right version of the file. Copy them into your package.nw the same way you did with the Steam file. Now this last step is important to fix a couple of problems you might face when running your game on Steam. On one hand, Steam uses the F12 key to take screenshots, but guess what? That is the same key that NW.js uses to open the developer tools on Chromium. So if a player hit the F12 to take a screenshot, he will see this instead. To prevent this, we need to locate the JSON file inside the package.nw Open it with WordPad Copy and paste the following text in the JSON These tags will do the following Prevent nw.js to open the developer tools and make sure F12 works for taking screenshots like it should it also will allow the Steam overlay to appear on top of your game, so players can see when they unlock an achievement during gameplay. Now our package that NW is complete, so you can close WinRAR, rename the file back to NW and we can continue. Ok, I think we are now done for good, our game is officially ready for Steam. Another quick tip, you need to do this for all versions of your game, meaning if you have Linux or Mac or even Windows 64 and 32 versions, you need to repeat this entire process for every one of these versions. Annoying, I know, but necessary. Once you have all the versions ready, you can compress them again as a zip and upload them to Steam. Test to see if everything is working fine and be happy because your game is now fully integrated with Steam features. Big thanks to Sleeping Panda Games for making the original guide that inspired this tutorial and to Uhio Games for helping me figure out a couple of issues I had with Greenworks. Hopefully this video is easy to understand and you can integrate your Construct 3 game with the Steam API easy and quick. Thank you so much for watching and if you find this tutorial useful consider leaving a like and share it with other Construct 3 developers. Also, if you want to know more about game development or see a fellow developer learning and creating fun games, make sure you subscribe to the channel, I post devlog videos, tutorials and all sort of fun game dev stuff. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching, bye!